we're going to be looking at electrical power and fuses. So electrical power is the rate at which electrical energy is transferred. So when energy is being transferred, work is being done. And if you also remember, our definition of power is the rate at which work is done. So power is given by work done divided by time. So the electrical work done or the electrical energy transferred is equal to ITV. So if we substitute that for W, we would say the power equals ITV divided by T. So the T's cancel. So our electrical power is given by the product of current and voltage. If we have resistance, then power will be dissipated due to it. So dissipated means used up. So we know electrical power is equal to current times voltage. And voltage is equal to current times resistance. So if we were to substitute for voltage into our equation for electrical power, we will get I times IR. So the electrical power will equal I squared R. So we have now two equations for electrical power, one with current and voltage, the second with current and resistance. And there's a third equation for electrical power, which is in terms of voltage and resistance. In order to get that equation, we need to eliminate for current I. So current I is voltage divided by resistance. And if we substitute that into this equation, we'll get voltage divided by resistance times voltage. So the power will equal V squared divided by R. So these are the three equations for power, and they're given on your formula sheet. So when you have resistance and current, then the power dissipated is in the form of heat. If we consider a 33 ohm resistor and it's connected to a 20 volt power supply, to determine the power that would be dissipated across the resistor, we would use V squared divided by R. So that would be 20 squared divided by R, which will give us a power dissipated of 12 watts. However, this resistor is rated to only cope with a power of 1 watt. So we've connected a much larger power supply, voltage supply across it that it can cope with. So here will be the resulting effect in that it will start to heat up quite drastically and actually set a light because of how much heat has been dissipated. So this is showing that if you put too much voltage or current through a resistor that it can cope with, it will set a light. And this is leading on then to why we need fuses. So fuses can protect the appliance if too much current flows. If too much current flows, then the appliance could get overheated and could set a light. So inside a fuse, you have a very thin wire, which has a very low melting point. So if too much current flows through the fuse wire, it gets very hot and melts, and then that will break the circuit. Fuses have different ratings, and the rating sets the maximum current that can safely flow through the fuse. So for example, three amp fuse, the maximum current that can flow through it will be three amps. And then above three amps, the fuse will melt and then blow. So if you have an appliance whose normal operating current is, let's say, 2.5 amps, the best fuse to use for that appliance will be three amps. So just above the normal operating current.